So I guess to start off, how did you become a Chelsea supporter? Um, when I was about I think seven or eight, my dad he was an he's an Arsenal fan. He took me to a game. The first ever game was Chelsea versus Barca, the biggest robbery to ever happen. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely and I agree. It. And I, as a kid, I was like, everyone was like mad at the refs, and all that. I was like, damn, I feel bad. So I said, you know what? Let me just support Chelsea. And ever since then, <laughs> for the past twelve something years, I haven't turned back. It's just been I tough. see I see over your shoulder there you have a Drogba jersey. I think for myself that was one of the most influential players I ever watched when I was, you know, growing up and yeah, yeah for a player. Chelsea supporter, he was huge. Favorite player of all time. Always there on the biggest <laughs> occasions of the Moys. Man. People really disrespect him because of the stats, but as a striker, he had everything you wanted. Everything. 100%, the strength yeah. pace, I think it's connect. He was like one of the scariest Premier League strikers, honestly. He was one of the strikers that could actually handle the Vidic and the Ferdinand center back duo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you, you prefer to a cup final, and yeah, he was there. So as a Chelsea supporter, you prefer Drogba over Lampard? The best Chelsea player of all time is Lampard. I'm not, no one's going to, you know, but my mm-hmm. favorite is Drogba. Yeah, that's fair. To start off with the current Chelsea side, uh, what, what, like, can you just give us a summary of what you think of Chelsea's season so far? For what Lampard has, like, his best player, our best player in the past decade, gone. We couldn't replace him. Injuries. This is his second season as a professional manager, and his first was in the championship. No Premier League experience, and he has us in a Champions League spot. That, he's, he's, he's over-exceeding our expectations, to be honest. So, very happy with Lampard. I can't imagine what's going to actually happen when he gets the facilities, everything he needs to build his team. Right now, using what he has in the youth, but eventually, I think we can actually go far if we wanted the Giants. I, I, yeah. I, at the beginning of the season, I kind of thought Lampard would be in for a bit of a rough run this year. I thought Chelsea may, may finish outside of the top six. But yeah, I've been extremely surprised by how well he's done in the first season, top flight. Yeah, I, I didn't expect top four at all. Especially since, like, Hazard left that. Mm-hmm. Everything went through Hazard last season. This is, he carried the team for so many years. And now he's gone. There's no one there. But collective, I don't. I think it's more Lampard than the players, to be honest. Because it's not like he plays one formation. He switches it up every, like, four or three games. He doesn't have one game style. He outclassed Mourinho twice this season, like... You don't. You're not. You're not an average manager. If you have one of the goats twice, yeah. home and away. So. Yeah, and plus he hasn't even had a transfer window either. He, I mean, yeah, like a proper transfer in January. Yeah. Count, but this summer, I mean, here he has Zeke. I don't know how Zeke is going to actually fit into the team, but I mean, he wanted him so. Honestly, if I if I was a Chelsea supporter, I'd be quite happy with like somehow. I don't know personally. I don't know how Chelsea are still in fourth because it's like every other side's been banging on that door, like especially United. <laughs> Every time we choke, so do United. So yeah, it's, like, it's it's weird. But um, right now, what are some needs for Chelsea, do you think? A world-class center back and a striker. And a right winger, because we have Pedro and Willian. And yeah, they're kind of aging. I don't, like, I don't like Willian at all, bro. He, he was good for a do bit. Do you think going into next season, your starting wingers could be Pulisic and Ziyech? I mean, we also have hudson Adoy. Mm. I think I think Ziyech... I think Zeech would be like one of those wingers that also like playing the midfield a lot, mm-hmm. but it also depends on this Sancho thing. So if we don't get Sancho, then Zeech will probably go out wide. But if we do, he's gonna find a way. We have so many midfielders. I don't know how he's gonna mm-hmm. he's gonna mix that up, but he can only pick three. That's the the difficult part. But we need a striker too because Tammy has no competition at all. Mm. That's why he's not even Giroud. Yeah. I agree. yeah. But I mean, it, right now, would you say Sancho is like really necessary for Chelsea? With like, you had the likes I of mean, Pulisic and Hudson Odoi there. I mean, I yeah, I think we need that one world class. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, right now I we have a lot of potential. Superstar. Yeah, you don't have a superstar name. I mean, we I guess you could say Conte is a superstar. But yeah, really he's had a poor season though. But yeah, he's had, yeah, he's a star <laughs> midfielder, but you need that star attacker that kind of like attracts people to the yeah. club. Like you want that Drogba back kind of thing. The drop, like the hazard. No exactly. Hazard, so that's, that's... <laughs> but yeah, would you say like uh, Sancho could hurt one of those guys' developments, or is it too hard to say to no, uh, like too hard to say no to a guy like him? We, if you're gonna be a big club, you can't not get a big player because it's gonna hurt academies' mm-hmm. development. You, you have to like look at City, bro. They they just buy and buy and buy. It does not matter. They have, their team is so deep, but. 
we've let a lot of players go. Like De Bruyne, Salah, yeah. Lukaku. It hurt us. And Lampard said he's not going to let that happen again. So, To be fair, yeah. when you let go of those players, you did have Mourinho behind that, I feel. Yeah. I feel like Mourinho has always kind of let go of players and they turn into world-class talents. Yeah. He's lost a lot of talents throughout his. It's not. It's like he improves players, but he also destroys certain players, like Pogba sometimes. Like he doesn't doesn't really care about the future. It's just win now. Yeah, I mean he's win trophies. He's been working for him, so you can't really be. Just his style so boring. But it is. It is. It is. Did Did you like uh, Mourinho as a manager? When he was at Chelsea, did you? I, I I absolutely adored him, but after he joined Tottenham and the (laughs) stuff he said, it's just. It made me lose respect. But yeah, he's he's our greatest manager of all time. No matter what he says, you mm-hmm. cannot you cannot say that. But it, you can say his game. It was boring watching that, but we were winning trophies, so you can't really complain. Most most at the end can. of the day, yeah, when you're winning trophies, like oh, this is fun. I don't care. Uh, but in terms of like replacing players and bringing in new players, could you see them going after a player like maybe Alex Tellez for the left back position? He's been rumored with PSG. Yeah, I've I've heard Alex Tellez, and yeah. I've also heard um. Who else was it, man? Was it Tagliafico? No. Yeah, Tag- Yeah. Okay. Man. And uh, we've been after Alexandra for two or three years now. That's just one of those yeah. ongoing sagas that would that would never cool happen. Cool, Bali. We do need a left back. We have reached it. like we have so many talents, but mm-hmm. we can't hope on them because if most of we can't we can't say all of them are gonna work out. Some are not gonna work out, and we can't waste our transfer windows hoping that one of the academy products will work out. So. Well, so far the academy has been proving. I mean, Billy Gilmore, Hudson Odoi, like that's a oh. Reese James. It's 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 Andy, quite good. Hudson, it, yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Tamori, I don't know what's happened to Tamori recently. Honestly, he's, he's been in and out. The yeah, line. but he's, he's still very young too, which is nice. Yeah, he's still um, twenty-two. So. But in terms of striker position, do you see them going after anyone? Anyone you'd like to see at the club? Maybe to compete with Tammy. I was like in the, earlier. I was thinking about Werner, but now it looks like he might be going to Liverpool. So, and actually, I mean, if we if we get a striker, it has to be like an, an already developed striker. I don't yeah. think a young striker is is, is good. It right depends now. on what kind of striker you're looking for. Are you looking for someone with pace to fit in between those two quick wingers, or do you want someone a bit more bigger and stronger, like your Lukaku or like your Drogba, to hold up the play a bit more? I mean, the way Lampard. I mean, Tammy isn't one of those strikers that gets in behind, neither is Giroud, and it's been working. So I guess Lampard really wants one of those big strikers. Supposedly, um, uh, they've been linked with uh, the Polish striker Arkadiusz Milik from Napoli. So, But I, as someone who's watched a lot of Polish football, I don't know if he'd be the right fit for Chelsea right now. I don't now. think so. No. He wouldn't. He, he score, he's, he's an okay striker, but he'd be another like kind of Tammy. He wouldn't really compete. He'd just be there. Nah. So I, I guess we just, we just need a name next to Tammy because I feel like he feels too comfortable. Just because he knows mm-hmm. there's no better striker than him at the club, you don't have competition. You're not going to improve. So, yeah. And uh, what about center backs? Any any would you like to see? I I heard links with Koulibaly. Koulibaly would be a great addition already yeah. there. And if he plays next to Tamori, we have Tamori and Christian in there. So, if he's if he's going to a Premier League thing, team, I think he'll be going to Chelsea. I don't see him going to Arsenal honestly, because I mean Arsenal yeah. Arsenal's just they can't sign players sometimes. I don't think they have really good pull power anymore. No, no uh, I don't think but, I don't think Arsenal would be a step up over Napoli. I don't. That's yeah, really yeah, that's that true. I, th- I think Arteta is a good manager for Arsenal, but it's just once again that pull power is not there anymore. And I guess going back to kind of like how we started the conversation, do you think Lampard's the right man? One thousand percent at this point. I, I had my doubts in the beginning. I was like, mm-hmm. maybe he's too early. He doesn't have experience, but he he did what he had to do. If he if he does this with the players that he didn't really pick. I can only imagine what he can do with the players he actually wants. So, and he's a very smart, smart football guy. Yeah, compared to a lot of managers, so he knows what he's doing. One thousand. I wouldn't have. I think this manager can actually be the manager we like have for a long time. It's been yeah. it's been a while since we had one of those exactly managers stay. They build a team that they want. Sorry, had one year, won the Europa League, got us third place, and he still didn't stay. So, I think no matter what, Lampard has. Guaranteed two, three years. After that, mm-hmm. that's when questions are going to start coming in. Yes, to start actually performing and actually winning things at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah of course, like the FA Cups, the League Cups, he has to be pushing yeah. for those, and then eventually the Premier. And then I guess since we're talking about managers, what are your thoughts on managers like constantly getting fired at Chelsea? I can't really complain. Uh, yeah, titles, but huh. I really want to sorry to stay. To be honest. 
feel like Hazard might have. I don't know. No, Hazard was already gone, to be honest. But I just wanted him to stay you. longer. <laughs> yeah, Hazard. He stayed there for seven years. I can't ask for more, to be honest. Conte but, wasn't a bad manager for you guys. I mean, he won. Did he win one or years. two titles? Yeah, yeah, he won a FA Cup in a Premier League, but his player management was poor, mm. piss poor. Yeah, I don't know, like the what he did to Diego Costa, one of our actual strikers we finally had, just told him to leave, and he doesn't want him anymore. Yeah, like that, that was that was weird because I remember Diego Costa came to the Premier League and he was just scoring right off the bat, he was like he was scoring. scary. He, he was a bully, and the way Conte played, like he freed Hazard. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a five, it was like he brought a new formation, changed the whole way, five at the back. Let Hazard free roam. He didn't have to track back at all. He was going off. Had one of the best seasons. Costa was there. Uh, it was it was a lovely season. I think it's the record for the most wins in a. Do we still have that? I don't think we do. Mm, no, I, I think I think City beat that. Yeah. yeah.